Hi everyone, it's Bill and Wendy again with Carolina Capital Hello. Management, and we're here with one of our good friends and investors, Sue Jensen. Not good friend, dear friend. Okay. She's good my dear friend. Dear friend, Sue Jensen. She's one of my besties. So, Sue, so give us an idea of how you got started in investing in the first place. Okay, so my husband and I were in our 50s, and we realized we were... Be- Last week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A couple months ago. Yeah. <laughs> we realized that we were behind the eight ball in saving for our retirement, and mm. it was coming up fast. Mm. So we started stuffing money aside into our 401k, our 403b, saving our money as much as we could, and I said to Dale... I want to start learning about investing in real estate because I know that's a way to really aggressively get this to grow. He didn't really understand what I was talking about. He thought I wanted to be a realtor. And I said, no, 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 investing in real estate. And I said, I just want to take, start taking some courses. So I started doing that. And then in the meantime, the in 07, 08. Uh, a time which will live in yeah. infamy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything went downhill and crashed, and we lost a bunch of money in our 401k. And our Was 401k. it invested in a stock market? Yeah, oh, stock, market, yeah. stock yeah. markets and mutual funds and all that. So I said, you know what? We have no control over this. I mm-hmm. want to take control. So I started learning, going to conferences and, and taking courses. And we bought, we ended up buying three houses hmm. to invest in, two rentals. Buy and hold and one for a fix and flip. Now you were in New York, yeah. but you bought these houses in, were they in New York too? Uh, one was in South Carolina, two were in North Carolina huh. because we knew we would end up down there in retirement because our kids were down here right, right. and they were having kids of their own. So we knew, okay, we're going to be near the grandkids. <laughs> Forget the kids, the grandkids is what we That's wanted right. to be close to. <laughs> So we started buying, and plus the market was so much better in the Carolinas than mm-hmm. it was in New York. It was a bad place to try to invest in in New York. So we bought those three houses, and they were a big hassle to us. We, were, we weren't looking to increase our work, and this was increasing our work. It was adding a lot of stress to our marriage. Dale does not like being a landlord. Plus, we were long-distance landlords. Mm-hmm. We didn't have a whole lot of control. So when something went wrong, like a dishwasher went bad, We were trying to get people to shop for us. It was just a big hassle. So the way I met Wendy was I called the president of the RIA down in Charlotte. The Real Estate Investor Mm -hmm. Association. J.C. Underwood. Mm -hmm. And I Mm -hmm. asked him, can you give me a uh, property manager? I need a Mm -hmm. good property manager. He gave me a name. And I said, can you give me another name of someone that uses him? And he gave me Wendy Sweet. So I called Wendy and I started talking to her. And we talked and talked and talked. And we just really clicked. Yeah. And I said to my husband later, I really like this woman. I just, you know, we just clicked right away. And she was so helpful. You were so helpful to me to learn not only what I was doing, but another way of investing, which was lending money, mm-hmm. which is what she was doing, which mm-hmm. I was fascinated with. I thought, what? You're lending money to people? Yeah, we're like a bank. And I put these people together. And so I said, I gotta learn more. I would call her I would call her up time and time again. She'd spend all this time explaining it over to me. It was like so <laughs> dense. Like, tell me again what you do. And eventually I said to Dale, We've got to go down there. We've got to fly down and meet Wendy and her team because this may be the answer to what we need to do. This may work really well for us. It was more passive and better rate of return. So we did that. Yeah, that one of the things we always preach, it's better to control the asset mm-hmm. without being responsible for the asset. And you don't have to worry about tenants and toilets yep. and right. trash and all mm-hmm. that stuff. We had lending. termites. We had mold. I mean, we had all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you got to to experience wow. all of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember too when you guys came down, I got to meet you and Dale and yeah. and Dale sitting in his chair like this the whole time. He was yeah. not happy. <laughs> he was he was gonna grill her. And he and did. He did. <laughs> at first I was embarrassed, but then I saw that Wendy didn't mind it at all and it was great. I was enjoying it. Well we love educated investors and we love educating investors as well. So 
we want those grillings because yeah. that's the only way you're going to yeah. feel comfortable. So at what point did you start investing, putting your money into a self-directed IRA? How did you even hear about it? You know, there's only like 5% of the population that even knows about self-directed retirement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was two courses that I had been taking before this, the Rich Dad, Poor Dad course, mm -hmm. and then a course on tax liens. I was also investing in tax liens, and they both talked about self-directed IRA. So then I started going to equity trust mm -hmm. uh, conferences. So we really ramped up our self-directed IRAs. We actually have five of them right now, and our, our family has them, but that's the best way to save and start investing. Absolutely. Well, by the way, all, well, most, the vast majority of your self-directed IRA custodians are a great tool for education. Absolutely. They do not promote any particular investment, mm -hmm. but they educate you on what type of investments that you can utilize in your self-directed retirement account. And one of the worst things people do when they open up a self-directed retirement account is that they don't invest in anything. They let it sit there. Right. Yeah. And it's not working not, at all. Not only are you not making money, but you're losing money because yeah. guess what? They charge fees. fees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Ouch. once you make the decision to put money into an IRA, you have to deploy that capital somewhere. Mm -hmm. And there's there are tendencies of people to I don't know, failure to pull the trigger. Yeah. Because they, they yeah. kinda over analyze things yeah. and are yeah. a little bit nervous. Sue didn't do that. She jumped in with yeah. both feet. And they want you to deploy it because they're gonna make more money every time you do deploy it and, and invest it. But uh, they want to give you options. That's what I love about all the different IRA companies. You can sign up on any of the self-directed custodian websites and get all, into all of their webinars, their seminars, the different events that they put on. Mm -hmm. They teach you about self-directed IRA things, but they also hook you up with other people of different ways you can invest your money. They're not endorsing anybody, but they're saying, hey, look at all these options that you have out in front of you. So that was a a great move for you to do and, that. And, and by yeah. the way, one of the ways to invest is in the stock market. That's if right. You're still a stock. I wouldn't market do it investor. this week, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a few more days. Then yeah. jump in. <laughs> but that's the problem with the stock market. But if you're still a stock market person, you can still do it in your self-directed Yeah, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, what at this point in your investing is more important to you? Is it uh, being very active? in the investments or being more passive? Definitely more passive. And that's why I like uh, working with Wendy and Bill, with you guys, is... Where's you're Bill? Doing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got money in your fund. That's even more passive. But it's so much nicer, especially for us. We're supposed to be in our retirement days. So... You we, flunked retirement. I know, so. I flunked. I got in the wrong line. Just... Listen, you, you don't retire. You just move on to what's next. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But you guys do the heavy lifting, mm -hmm. and you have like 30 years of experience in this industry, mm -hmm. in the financial industry. You know you know what a good borrower looks like. Right. And you know what a good property looks like so much better than I do. So I could maybe, you know, get a... A borrower and say, "Oh, they seem nice. They seem like they got it together." Mm -hmm. But you guys, and they told me they'd pay. Yeah, yeah they said they'd pay. They promised. <laughs> but you guys know how to choose them, and you know, you know all the, you know, the underwriting, and you hold the draws, mm -hmm. and you make sure the inspections are done, and the title search, and all that stuff mm -hmm. that protects you. You guys know how to do that so much better, and so you just put me together with. Uh, a borrower and and move from loan to loan to loan and our return has just been awesome. That's great. And awesome. I'm really glad that you brought up what you did too about doing heavy lifting because even with the knowledge and the experience that we have, there are still bad things that can happen. Sure. You can still lose a property. You can have a borrower that doesn't pay and you've been through that with yep. us. Yes, so we were in it together. You, that's right. When we had that one bad, yeah. bad egg. So can you tell us about that, how you felt going through that? Because we all, you know, it was a good year that we had to deal with all of that. Mm -hmm. So how did that affect you? How did you feel going through that? And what was the outcome for you? Well, when we went into this, we knew that with that, any investment, there's always risk. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that's for sure. So even though everything looks good and went really well, and our first 
few years with you. We started in July of 12 with our first loan. Wow. We've now done about 60 with you and four or five uh, privately. Wow. But in our first few years, I did the math last night. So we, that's when interest rates are really high. Yeah, we were getting 15%. 15% plus days. renewals. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually doubled our money in about four years. Wow. Yep. Wow. I mean, I wish I had put a lot of money in at that point. <laughs> but we, you know, we, wow. we put a good chunk in and uh, we were just amazed at how different it was and how good it was. But then we hit that bad borrower. Mm -hmm. All of us did. Mm -hmm. And especially, I, I was one of those that had several of his loans. Right. So things got rough because we had to take all those houses back mm -hmm. and finish them up. And did you have to so take them back? I didn't have to take them back. <laughs> I'm just praying for when yeah. God help this woman. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, that was rough. I felt for you. But I knew that you were going to do the best that you could with what you had to work with. Mm. And um, yeah, a lot of us lost some principal. Mm -hmm. We lost some, but really during that time, I worked that out too. We were still making about a 6% return during That's those awesome. two years that it was, that was the From worst. From the start to the finish, yeah. right? Yeah. So we went to like a 15% to a 6% and now we're up to about a 12% return. Awesome. Right awesome. So yeah, it was a dip, but uh, you know, you guys learned a lot. We all mm -hmm. learned a lot. Oh, yeah. You made some adjustments. You got an even better team. So I was very encouraged by uh, being able to go through that. Plus, I saw you guys take a personal hit yourself. Mm -hmm. like, so, I had to put makeup over the bruises. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys took losses yeah. uh, before some of us took losses. Yeah. And you went without pay for a while because you were so concerned for your clients and stuff. And I really, that's what I appreciate. And that's what Dale appreciates is, you know, if we're going to go through hard times, it's not just going to be, okay, the clients lost money. That's what we used to deal with. with right. Financial advisor. Yeah, you lost money. It'll come back in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, the, you, you guys weren't like that. You yeah. guys were, you know what? We're, we're not taking a paycheck for a while until we get this back up to par and uh, we saw you do it and now we're on the other side of it. So. Our business cannot operate without investors. Yeah. And so, you know, we treat your money like it, it's our money. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get back to the experience part of it. <laughs> yes, Wendy and I have tons of experience in this business, but and it's very helpful, but this industry is constantly, constantly yeah. evolving. Yeah, lots, and lots of change. That's one of the reasons I like it so much is because there's always change and it never gets boring. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there are, that's not a word there I are, use. There <laughs> are certain constants that stay in place and that's figuring out risk. Mm -hmm. And you're always going to have a, a loser now and again. I follow, and I don't want to get morbid here, but I follow crash on in airplanes and why they happen. And it's never yeah. one thing. It's always a chain of events that occur. Yeah. It's never just one little accident right. that causes it. It's always a chain of events. A series and of then unfortunate when you do have one that, that goes bad on you, it's not just one little thing. A chain of events happen and then, then they kind of snowball. So it just feels worse than it than it actually is. But mm -hmm. anyway, I, I appreciate you hanging out with us. Yeah. And even though that uh, you did lose money at one point in the long run, and any kind of investment, especially in real estate, is a long-term commitment. Mm -hmm. That's right. And if you, if you're day trading, as it were, you don't want to be in real estate anyway, mm -hmm. uh, because yes, you can make a bunch of money, but yes, you can lose a bunch of money. But mm -hmm. in the long run, it, it's going to always go up and back. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Well, what I also want to say about along those lines is that. You guys surround yourself with very smart people, and I appreciate that, that you are constantly okay. going to other masterminds, mm -hmm. you're learning all the time so that you not only become more knowledgeable, but you become more wise because you're talking to so many other people in the industry that have their eyes open and That's their right. ear to the ground, mm -hmm. and they're trying to figure out what could happen, what might happen, what is happening what's working, what's not working, so that you can stay on top of it. And that gives me security mm. um, that I depend on you guys. But. Yeah. It's like paying a small amount of money to learn from other people's mistakes than mm -hmm. paying a large amount of money from learning from your own. That's right. <laughs> I 
I'd rather learn from there. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. And it is it is really important to not be the smartest people in the room. Yeah. We're good. Yep, you're <laughs> We're smart. good with that. We're not yeah. the smartest ones in the room. Gotta stay humble. So, that's, and it's a blessing to be around people like that that are that kind of have the same values that we have to, and that can help lift us up when you know when we need help, and and we, you know we're thrilled to be able to help them as well. I always quote our friend Glenn Stromberg. I've never had an original idea in my life. I just surround my Self with a bunch of smart people, and I copy what they do. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> you do. You just redo what you, other people do. You don't reinvent invented. the wheel. You just copy what they do. Right. That's right. That's the smarter way to do that. That's exactly um, right. So, in closing, listen, I, I appreciate the time you spent to mm-hmm. come visit with us. Experience. So, apparently, your experience was pretty good. <laughs> Glad I asked that question. It, I would say it's been life changing. I really oh, wow. I'm not just saying that. That is, it's true. It's been life changing for us. We, can live the lifestyle that we really wanted to, but didn't think that we were would be able to in mm. our retirement years. You know, with my husband being a pastor for forty years, mm. and then you know me just starting to save later on in life, we thought, you know, how are we ever going to make this work? But just from that phone call when I felt like we were put together for mm-hmm, a reason, mm-hmm. and that you know, that click where I said, you know what, I think there's a destiny in our, there's something in our future with this company here. And uh, I'm so glad that we stuck it out, even through the tough times, Mm -hmm. because we've been blessed and we've been able to be generous. We've been able to do the things that we want to do because of our our dealings with you. Awesome. And that goes both ways. We're, we too are blessed. Mm -hmm. And uh, Good thing God knows what he's doing, right? <laughs> Good thing we're, we're listening once in a That's while. Right. And, and the best compliment that can be paid to us, and you've already done that, is many referrals times over. from others. Yeah, many times um, ever. Because we've gotten other investors uh, through Sue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots of them. Family members, By the way, friends, I, our old church. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I, I want to add something, too. Uh, Sue volunteered. She was the director of our, our RIA group. Mm-hmm. Our, Two and a half years. Um, that's what I mean. She two, flunked two retirement. Two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and that's a that's a thankless job. A lot of the people that are there are brand new to real estate. Yeah. And they sit in rooms on their hands. It's it's hard to rally the troops. Again, occasionally Wendy will come in there and do the whoop whoop thing. Yeah. <laughs> she does a good job. At that. Get people uh, wound up, but you did an incredible job with that. So, yeah. Uh, that we was thank wonderful. you. Uh, we we've been involved in that RIA group for how long? Since 2003. Yeah. Two. 2002. Okay, 2001, and that's my last offer. <laughs> <laughs> it was 2001 in September. I remember it well. But yeah. you don't have to join a real group. Yeah. You don't have to be involved in real estate to invest in real estate. We do want you to be educated. Yeah. But what we do is passive. Right. Mm-hmm. And for others, you not us. <laughs> not for you. <laughs> you don't need it to be a second job. That's right. right? That's right. That's right. exactly right. Thank you so much. For yes, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, for the ride uh, out here, because I know it was a long way, because I have Me to too. drive it every day. <laughs> so you know. Thanks. Uh, so that's it for our show today. Please forward, share, like. There's some links, links around as here well somewhere. For archive stuff. <laughs> yeah. We will see you on the next show. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this time. And if you really like this show, you'll have an opportunity to see even more. You can choose up here. You can choose over here. You can choose down here. Right? Awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.